Say I want to go do something five times. I'll show you this without the weight. Printed out nothing. Do we understand why they printed out nothing? Because it takes a second for it to spool up and program it in before it's close down the school. Yep. I read that somewhere before. So we don't actually need this bump bit because we can just call it print line. And I'll just add I so we can know where it is. So it prints nothing. If we want to wait until it finishes, we can use a wait group. So we say wait group. This is a variable. Var means variable. Wg is the name of the variable. Wait group is the type. I say wg dot add. Give it one. This is a sync wait group. OK. And now I re-add this bit here. This is a fun issue. Um, actually, I don't have to do that. No. Um, and then I say inside of the thing that's running, done. And there, here I say wait. So what I changed is, so pretty line, hello. I have the wait group. I add one to it. So this goes up. It'll have five eventually. And then whenever one of those things finishes, it decreases. And this waits until it's zero. So it's 11 EPI, not one? No, no, this is the, the amount I'm adding to it. So oh, I, I, I could also just, uh, you know, do this. That's also the same. And uh, yeah, so the reason I have to do that is I is getting changed. So the value of I here, uh, I want it to stay the same. Here, I'll show you. Pass an I back into the function every time. So since this is too confusing. The function, or the function gets called, I gets passed in. Four loops and closures don't play well together. That's what it does. Okay. There, is that easier to understand? No, it wasn't difficult to understand. I just had, oh, I had to see that notation before. Yeah, so, so now this is going to print hello, and when it's done, it's going to call done. One go away. And so there's five total. So when all five are finished, this the wait finishes. So so we can run that. Oh no, I did something wrong. Negative. What did I do wrong? What I do wrong. Oh, wrong. Yep, yeah, sorry. That's what I did wrong. There we go. So it prints all of them now because I waited until they were done. I accidentally created another weight group, so I'm just adding to the wrong one. Um, so this adds, this finishes, and this waits until they're all done. Okay? So if you're ever in this pattern of, oh, I'm going to. I want to do a whole bunch of things simultaneously, and I want to wait till they all finish. Use a wait group. Okay. Following. Um, you scratch that, please. So the next problem is to 
modify program number one so that you can use a wait group to wait for all five Hello World printers to finish. That's basically what we just did. Okay. So then after that it says modify 15.2 so that it computes all the MD5 hash sums for a directory of files concurrently. So we want to take our MD5 hash sum calculator that works for a directory and make it work concurrently. Okay? So that's our problem.